Nabla city lies in the heart of the West Bank. It often hits the headlines with its resistance to the Israeli occupation. The Israelis try to maintain a high level of control. The Nabulsians struggle for freedom. But for the next four weeks, media attention is turned to education. So important is education in Palestinian society that the annual final year exams are a big news story. For the duration of the end of year exam period, we follow the students of Haji Rashta Girls School and King Talal Boys School as we continue the stories of two schools in Nablus. Zed Makbul is 18 and is a King Talal student about to take his final year exams. The exams are called Taujihi, meaning path to the future. They are the exams school leavers must pass if they want to go on to university. In fact, I can't study only in why I'm walking. I sit down, I sometimes get bored and sleep. Over a 20-day period, students are tested in everything they've learnt in the last 12 years. I have an exam in nine subjects. A few, a few subjects that I'm afraid of. First of them, maybe the math. The mass is to sit down and calculate. I hate that. For those lucky enough to pass, they will face a difficult decision of whether to stay in Nablus in the West Bank or to study abroad in the Arab world or beyond. Two of King Talal's more colorful students are Tariq and Mahmoud. Both final year Tawjihi students who will be sitting their exams. Today they've come into King Talal's school to look over their past papers from throughout the year. Their best indication as to how they will fare in the upcoming exams. <laughs> it was a bumpy start to the year for Tariq, who almost got expelled. <laughs> but Tariq has since turned over a new leaf, a born-again student devoted to his studies. Mahmoud, on the other hand, remains somewhat relaxed about the most important time in his academic life. This time last year, in 2007, Nablus was much more chaotic. The Palestinian police weren't free to operate under the Israeli army, and the state of lawlessness negatively affected the Tawjihi exams. وكم تعرض هذا التعليم أيضا للتدمير وللتجهيل الممنهج والمبرمج من سنة 67 وهم يجهلون أبناء الضفة الغربية وبالتالي دخلت التوجيه ضمن بعض الفوضى والإشكالية برغم حرص الجميع. This year, the police are under great pressure to guarantee security. لتغطية الحراسة خارج قاعات التوجيه. غير الجولات اليومية التي سيقوم بها مدير الشرطة مدير شرطة محاوة نالبس شخصيا ويوميا يكون فريق من الضباط أيضا غير مدير الشرطة يقومون بجولة تفقدية وميدانية على التوجيه
Masa Saed, a student at Haji Rashta Girls School, has faced a tough academic year. Her brother Marwan was imprisoned by the Israeli army, and she was the only family member allowed to visit him. Masa is a bright student, but her grades suffered dramatically. Now she faces the pressure of redeeming her year and achieving the top marks her family expects. It's the night before the big day. All across Nablus and Palestine, tens of thousands of nervous students are desperately doing their last minute revision. Tomorrow is the start of the Tarjihi exams, the most important time in a young Palestinian's life. It's eight o'clock in the morning and the nervousness is clear. All Massa can do now is take one last look over her notes. Tarek, on the other hand, goes for a different approach. Today is just the beginning for the 76,000 Palestinian students starting their exams. Over the next 20 days, they will take exams in up to nine different subjects. If a student fails just one exam, they fail their Tawjihi. As part of the added security, the Director of Education has been joined by the Governor of Nablus to make a tour of the schools. In previous years, accusations have been made that Israeli troops and road closures have been strategically placed to disrupt the exams. This year, the pressure is on to make sure they happen without any disruptions. On average, only 52% of students pass their Tawjihi every year. For those who do pass, they are in direct competition and are battling for places at the top universities. The long tradition of the Tawjihi, with such high stakes and the public announcement of the results, has ensured that the exams are a highlight of Palestinian society.
With the first exam down, the students can now relax into the rest of the exam period. Asma Makbul is a teacher at Haji Rashta School. For students like her son Zed, the dream is to go to university. I am planning to study law, yes. And uh, the second, maybe I want to study English. And if uh, I don't have a chance to lawyer or English, I will study sport. But university is expensive. And with two children already at university, Zed's parents are worried about the tuition costs. We have to pay 3,000 GDs for both of them. This is about US dollar 5,000 5, mm -hmm. each semester. Zed, like so many young people, holds hopes of studying abroad. I, I'm thinking for many things. Maybe go outside to Jordan, maybe Spain. I like Spain. Uh, I, uh, I often, when on the internet cafe, I open uh, to see Spain. Maybe it, it, it seems uh, a beautiful uh, country. But the economic reality means that this isn't possible. If Zed wants to go outside Palestine, it will be very, very expensive for us. But for now, it's time for English revision with mum. This is the basket of English. <laughs> Masai is also having an English lesson. English is one of the subjects she has been struggling with, and her parents have decided to pay for some additional lessons to help her dream of becoming a journalist. Music, is it singular or singular? It is singular. بس ما إنه الظروف ظروف الاحتلال ظروف الاقتصادية بتفرض على البني آدم إنه يدور على لقمة عيشه إنه يطلع برا على أساس إنه يكون دخل لأنه الإنسان الفلسطيني بتهيألي لو عاش بأرض فلسطين ولو الناس تعرف كيف وضعنا إحنا ولا إنسان رح يبني حياته أنا ولدت فلسطين على أرض نابلس ورح أدرس مش بس فلسطين رح أدرس بنابلس Masar is adamant that she wants to remain in Nablus, but not everyone is so certain. It is estimated that one in three Palestinians want to emigrate, and tens of thousands do so every year. Nabla city was once the economic capital of Palestine with booming industries, famous for products like olive oil soap and sweets like kanafa. But since the Intifada in 2000 and the subsequent Israeli clampdown, the combined factors of movement restrictions and violence have decimated Nablus's economy. According to the United Nations, Municipal revenues from the vegetable market dropped 90% in the years directly after the Intifada. With so few opportunities in Nablus, many students now rely on studying subjects that could lead to jobs abroad. Tarek wants to study law, but to do so needs at least 79%. This is a high grade and Tariq needs to stick to a rigorous revision schedule. <laughs> Mahmoud, on the other hand, isn't studying quite so hard. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and today is the last day of exams. Yeah. 
I can't believe that we will finish our exams. After exams, we, we are planning uh, me and my friends to go to swim. After a gruelling 20 days, the exams are now over, and it's time for students to let their hair down, Nablus style. Today is the last school day that the students will be together. Next year, will be all change. I really will uh, miss the school and my friends, maybe he will get, go outside, I'm still here, we will be separated. Some students will go on to university in Nablus, others outside of Nablus and some even abroad, while others will start work. All depends on the results they anxiously await for the next three weeks. Today is the day everyone's been waiting for. All over Nablus, students, parents and teachers anxiously await the results of the Tawjihi exams. School by school, the results are broadcast on the radio. The students eagerly gather round. Results are given in alphabetical order, and with 80 secondary schools citywide, each school will have to play a waiting game. But for Haji Rushta Girls School, they don't have to wait long. The results haven't been broadcast, but Basima Akia, the head teacher, receives a fax from the Ministry of Education, listing the results. It's the moment of truth for Massa. Masa has done it. 76% means she will definitely get on to the journalism course. <laughs> and it's good news for Zed as well. With 82%, he'll have no problems getting on to the law course. I am burning my bus and being ready to the future. For Mahmoud, however, he will not be going to university. He failed his Tawjihi and won't be retaking. For Tariq as well, the news is not good. He only got 65% and won't now be able to follow his dream of studying law. It's the end of a long, hard year for the students and teachers of Nablus. 
The schools have dealt with overcrowding, Israeli raids, student imprisonment, and even the death of one of the students. But through it all, the schools of Nablus have remained dedicated to the ideal of education. But what now for this newest generation of Palestinians? وبالتالي فرص العمل عندنا شحيحة ألفة وبالتالي فرصتهم الوحيدة وأنا بذكر أو بعرف ومطلع إنه أغلبيتهم الآن بتجهوا إلى دول الخليج من أجل العثور على فرصة عمل. As the occupation continues to grip, more students are tempted abroad. For those who remain, an uncertain future awaits. وطننا بقى مش إلا بالتكاتف. ذكور وإناث مع بعض ويبنوا هذا الوطن ويبنوا هذا البلد فهاي إنه بدنا نخرج وبدنا نترك البلد هذا حكي لا نوافق عليه إن يكون وضعهم أفضل من وضعنا إنه ينعموا بالحرية أكثر في ظل ظروف متحررة بعيدة عن التعقيدات والصعوبات والاجتياحات والاحتلال والإحباطات اللي موجودة حتى نصل إنه فعلا نصل إلى منزلة متقدمة بين الدول العالم